Oh, Pete. You're helping Zoe move today, right? That's not a problem, is it? Of course not. But, uh, I'd like you to have this for doing the job. Call it a bonus. I'm doing it on the firm's time. Yeah, but it's over and above, isn't it? Look, mate, I wasn't very happy with the way Chris docked your wages when you hurt your foot. I reckon you're owed this. Cheers. But between you and me, petty cash, OK? Are you sure? Chris will never know, believe me. Those antiques, and I need them today. Understood? Good. Now get on with it and let me know as soon as you trace them. Ooh. Sounds like another major deal's about to go belly up. Mind your own business, man. Your welfare is my business, Eric. Good. Then go away. The further the better. If it's a if it's a cash flow problem, I might just have the answer. Oh, please don't empty your piggy bank on my account. Well, I thought you could ask Zoe for your old job at on fire. Marlon! I do not need your advice. OK, OK. I just thought with, with her moving in today, you know. Today? Mm. If you're interested, better get your skates on. You all right, mate? Have you thought about what I told you about Chris disappearing? What is there to think about? I've been wondering if I should go to the cops. I tell them what? You've got no proof that Sean's involved. He is. I know he is. OK. There's one thing you could tell them that might get the police to sit up and take notice. He'd be crazy to do it. What's that? You could tell them about the Pollock business. If I do that, I'd drop myself in it. Yeah, but it's Sean's scam. They'd have to take him in, ask him questions. And if you're right, they might dig up something about Chris. If Sean found out or grassed him up, he'd kill me. Yeah, he probably would. I told you it was a crazy idea. Yeah, sorry. So you wouldn't say anything? Yeah, keep your mouth shut. You got no evidence. I hope this ain't gonna change once we get married. Well, I can't guarantee breakfast in bed every day. Oh, I don't mean that. I mean you're making a fuss of me. You won't take it for granted, will you? My gaff! I can't wait. Neither can I. That first morning waking up and hearing his man and wife. Big enough. Excuse me, we're not spending our honeymoon in here. That's good enough for Ryan Kelly. Paddy, you are joking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so where are we going? You wait and see. Mm. Oh, uh, Elsa rang last night. She's going to pick you up after school and take you out for your tea. Brilliant. I've, uh... Asked her not to bring you back too late. It's school tomorrow, remember? Don't worry, I'll remind her. Auntie Kathy? Yeah? You don't mind me seeing Mummy, do you? No, I don't mind. Are you sure? Positive. Now, come on, we'll be late. Laura, my dear. Remember I offered to dispose of some of Home Farm's antiques? Those of her not to Zoe's like. Hmm. The answer was no, Eric. Uh, yes, I know, but I'd, I'd hate her to move in and find herself surrounded by pieces she just doesn't like. Oh, I think that's probably the least of her worries right now. Uh, well, can I look at the inventory then? You know, sort of earmarked, someone still has less distinguished purchases. Eric, I think you're making a fuss about nothing, but if you really want to see the inventory, you need to see Zoe, because I've given it to her. me, you know. <coughs> this master man routine. It shows you for what you are. Spineless coward. I'll be chained up. I can't walk. You haven't got the guts to show me your face. You're pathetic.
I'm sure you're doing the right thing, moving in more or less right away. Didn't see any point in waiting. Yes, quite. Well, you belong there. I mean, heaven knows Home Farm played a big enough part in my life, but the Tate should own it. That's the natural order of things. It's one of the reasons why I bought it. Well, I'm sure you'll find living there a great source of strength and comfort. I hope so. Now, if you need any help settling in, you know where I am. You only have to ask. Thank you, Alan. Before you ask, Ollie, everything's under control. I never doubted it. Em? Zoe, there's something I need to ask you. I mean, it's nothing to do with work. And, uh, in fact, well, now's probably not the best time to ask. Paddy, get on with it. Uh, right, um, Joey, right, I, I want you to be my best man. I mean, I know you're not a man, but you're my best mate and you got me and Mandy back together again. But, uh, and if you don't want to do it, then I, I fully understand. Uh, that's nice of you to ask me. Yeah, yeah, I'd be delighted to do it, if I can, given the circumstances. All right, then, well, it'd be great if you could. <laughs> Thank you. Look, this is the last one, Zoe. I I'll leave you to it. Do you want to have a quick check round the side, make sure I haven't missed anything? Yep, I will. It's a bit of a wrench leaving. I suppose I should feel a twinge of regret, but I don't. I don't feel anything. You are moving somewhere special. No, it's not that. While Chris is missing, it's as if nothing else matters. I'm so worried about him that... Everything else is numb. Sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. Don't apologise. I have to talk about it. This afternoon I have to tell the whole world about Chris. I'm doing this televised appeal and I'm dreading it. I don't blame you. I'll get through it. I have to. But part of me wonders if there's any point. There we go. Not long now until the big day. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> if you need any help with your plans, you've only got to ask. What plans? Oh, come on, Mandy. A successful wedding's like a military campaign. There have been books written about it. Yeah, and I expect you've got most of them and all. One or two, yes. Yeah, we can keep them. The way I see it is, you book the church, you turn up, get wed and have really good knees up. Simple. Well, if you adopt that cavalier attitude, you're going to be in for a very nasty shock. Zoe Tate's moving in a home farm today. I know. You received formal notice. Don't rub it in, eh, Eric? Bad enough losing a job, I suppose, but I uh, fear worse may follow. What are you on about? A big house like that, full of valuable bits and pieces, standing empty for how long? Yeah, but I've got to know things, haven't I? I'm sure you have, and to the best of your ability, but can you be absolutely certain nothing is missing? Yes. Because if anything has gone walkabout, you know you'll get the blame. Yes, but there's nought gone missing. Fine. But if you could get the inventory, I could go through it with you, make sure. Hey, for free. Why? What's in it for you? You may not be my favourite flavour of humanity, but I'd hate to see you accused of something you didn't do. Do you know why I bought this place? It's your family home, isn't it? Yes, it was. And until Chris went missing, I uh, never expected to live here again. So what made you change your mind? Lots of things. I know Chris would have wanted me to. It's like a way of keeping him alive. N not that I mean he's... You, you yeah. know what? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're trying to say. It's uh, If the Tates own home farm, then one day Chris will come wheeling through the front door. As Alan Turner put it, it's the natural order of things. Yeah, I guess. What do you think's happened to him? Me? Uh-huh, you're a bright guy. <sighs> I've no idea. You must have thought about it. Yeah, only what everybody else has been thinking. You don't want to hear that. You know what already, I reckon. I wish I could help Zoe. I wish I could tell you something that'd bring him back. But I can't. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry, I, I'm... I'm not being fair, it, uh, it's just the not knowing that's so terrible. It's a nightmare. Ooh, Ashley's booked. Reception sorted. Paddy's arranging the honeymoon and Uncle Zach sent out the invites. There's, there's no problems. I think you find there's a bit more to it than that, Mand. 
Such as? Loads of things. I tell you what, leave it to me. I'll organise everything. Kelly, there's no need. Well, you wanted to be as good as mine and Roy's, didn't you? And it was brilliant. Well, eventually. All right, I'll make you happy. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. I was uh, just having a look round. Check everything's all right for Zoe, you know, with her moving in today and that. Oh. Haven't seen the inventory, have you? Inventory? Yeah, she'd have come from the cottage. Ah, here it is. What do you want it for? Well, Zoe wants me to check the contents of the house, make sure it's all there. Right, well, I haven't nicked out. I didn't say you had. No, I know, but um, if there's anything missing, there won't be. But if there is, it weren't me, right? Right. What do you reckon to Sean? Well, you've known him a lot longer than I have. Yeah, but that don't mean I know much about him. He's a boss, isn't he? I mean, he can be really good, you know, fair. But if you crossed him, what do you think he'd do? Why don't you ask him? The move went OK? Yeah. Good. I've uh, got a bit more extra work for you. Oh? Yeah. Been talking to Pollock. There'll be another job going down pretty soon. I don't know, Sean. What's the problem? It's not a problem. I'd just rather not do it, that's all. I'm sorry, mate. You're not backing out now. <laughs> Split on you, you know that. You'd be cutting your own throat if you did. I just thought, well, with Chris not being here, it, it don't seem right. Come on, Pete. Forget about Chris. It'll be just like the old days. You and me working together. Yeah? Yeah, sure. What was all that about? Nothing. You've not been accusing Sean, have you? What do you think I am, Terry? I'll be sitting next to you the whole time, so if you do slip up, I'll step in. Do these appeals actually work? We wouldn't do them if they didn't. But if your investigation was going anywhere, this wouldn't be necessary. This is part of our investigation. You don't have a clue, do you? You don't have a single lead. We're looking to the appeal to open up new leads. If somebody out there knows something, have faith. Faith? Is that the best you can offer? We're doing everything we can, I promise you. This is very stressful for you, I know that. Look, there's a while to go before we start. Why don't you go and get a breath of fresh air? Yes, I think I will. She's right, isn't she? We wouldn't be doing this if we had a worthwhile lead. I know. This appeal isn't about getting a brother back. It's about catching a murderer. But I can't tell her that. Look at that. What? Scott's car. He said he was getting back today. Looks like brand new. Well, it would, wouldn't it? Nothing ever goes wrong for him, does it? Come on, Kelly could have been killed when he crashed it. But he wasn't, was he? He just walked away from it. And now be driving round so nothing ever happened. Yep, well that's Scott for you. Dead jammer. Come on, Kel. Alan. What do you think you were playing at yesterday? Time again. Encouraging Alice to see Elsa. Oh that. That's where she is now. Oh, if Uncle Alan says it's all right, then it must be. Yeah, steady on, Kathy. Just, just get things into proportion. I was just telling Alice how terrible it is to lose contact with one's family. Didn't you consider my feelings? I feel as though I'm under the microscope, Alan. As if everything I've done for Alice is being questioned. I thought you'd have understood that. Supported me. This isn't a question of taking sides. Oh, it is, Alan. It is. <coughs> ah, Butch, uh, I don't suppose you managed to... Get up to her and found, did you? Yes, it is, yeah. And did you manage to locate the inventory? I reckon you have dropped me right in it. Sorry? Well, I was looking for it, right? Mm -hmm. And then Laura come in and she was looking for it and all. But I'd found it. Only I pretended to her that I hadn't. But then she took it. 
I think she thought that I was on the rob, and it's all your fault, Pollard. You didn't tell her I wanted to look at the inventory, did you? I didn't mention the flaming inventory. Do you think I'm stupid? Large scotch, please, Benny. Yeah. Started, Ben. Oh, turn it up, Gavin. We brought the TV through for Zoe's appeal. Thought it might jog someone's memory. Good idea. The missing man, Christopher Tate. Now, Miss Tate would like to give you a statement. Chris, if you can hear this, if you've gone away for whatever reason, please, just let us know you're safe. Please, I miss you. Joseph misses his daddy. We both want you back. If anyone watching this has seen Chris or knows anything, anything at all that might help, please get in touch. I beg you. Our lines will be open at the end of this press conference. If you have any information that you feel may be relevant, then please call our... Call Zoe. Yeah. I don't know why she's done that. It's been dead hard for her. Oh, she wants him back, doesn't she? I suppose she'll do what she can. Makes you think, doesn't it? We reckon we've got problems. Mm. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. No, I was outside slagging off Scott. Yeah, you had your reasons. Yeah, but it don't matter, does it? Not when you see what Zoe's going through. If you ask me, I reckon we wasted enough time going on about Scott and his flaming car. You're right. Let's forget about it, shall we? Huh. It really got to you, didn't it? I've spent most of today with her. I know what she's going through. Well, I'm glad you're upset. You what? That means it was a successful appeal. And if it affected you like that, uh, imagine how you'd feel if, if you'd got some information and yet you were scared to come forward. Seeing Zoe like that would be just enough to give you the push you need. We'll be treated with the utmost confidentiality. That poor lass. I mean, I know Chris Tate's a rat bag, but he's still her brother. I know she's taking it quite hard. Has she been the bully yet, Butch? Hold on, she's only just moved into Home Farm today. It's only a matter of time, isn't it? We don't know that for sure. After what happened between Butch and Sophie? She's not going to want him round the place. Monday! She? Shut up! Oh, Sophie! Butch, where are you going? Butch! Did you have to mention Sophie? Which was going to find out sooner or later, wasn't she? Pete, can you stop for another? I'm buying. No, sir. Look, mate, I'm sorry about the disagreement earlier. Still mates, though, aren't we? I never know where I am with you these days. I, I can understand you're worried about the Paulick deal. With all the cops I've had around the place. It's asking for trouble. No, it isn't. They're investigating Chris's disappearance. And that's it. I know how they operate. You reckon? Yeah. They concentrate on one case at a time. They get tunnel vision. You can get away with murder. Why didn't you tell me about her? Because if I did, I'm scared that you might not like me anymore. I thought my dad were perfect. I thought he could do anything. Yeah, but that's different, Emily. I know something happened between you and this sofa. I wish I didn't what to do. When I was little, I asked my dad why he couldn't bring me mum back. And he cried. I wish they hadn't asked him, but I had. I think it's called growing up. I hope you didn't mind me calling in, but I noticed on the television that you were very upset. I was. It was difficult. Well, if it's any comfort, I think you'll push it yourself with dignity and, and courage. Thank you. I just thought you might like some company. It's very kind of you, Alan, but... I think I'd like to spend the evening just getting used to being here again. Yes, yes, I understand. Well, if you change your mind, you've only got to lift the fan. Thanks, Alan. Oh, there is one thing. Yes, my dear? This place needs a lot of upkeep, and with my commitments at the surgery in the haulage yard, 
I need someone to look after it for me. You were asking me? You'd be perfect. Well, it's kind of you to say so, but running this estate nearly drove me into an early grave. Well, you're running it as a business. I just need someone I trust to keep the place ticking over, pay bills, that kind of thing. Well, all the same. Think uh, about it. Yeah. All right. Hiya. Can I have a word? Sure. You better come in. I thought that she liked me. And when she said that she didn't, I did some bad things. Like what? I followed her about. And I took some of her things. And one night, I, I... Go on. I got her on her own. And they weren't very nice. Did you hit her? No. I wouldn't let her go. I think I frightened her. I can't imagine you behaving like that. Yeah, well, I did. And I'm not proud of it. Dad always said you couldn't trust a lad if they got you on their own. Is that what you think about me? Are you scared of me now? No. See, I... I thought I loved her, Emily. But it weren't love. I know that now that I found you. If you wanted to finish with me, I wouldn't blame you. Would you ever be with me like that? No. Of course I wouldn't. I'd never do anything to hurt you. I want to protect you. I believe you. I've been meaning to say something all day, but... Well, you've had enough on your plate. Go on, tell me. Whatever it is. It's about the business. Sean. He's involved in a scam with a guy called Pollock. What kind of scam? They're bringing in designer clothes on the quiet. And how long has this been going on? A while. Chris know anything about this? No. Sean knew he wouldn't approve. But now he can do whatever he likes. Chris disappeared at exactly the right time. Sean couldn't have planned it better himself. 